Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video from our channel, Futurism. Elon Musk is testing the new Starship rocket that is set to go to Mars. And in this video today, we will tell you everything we know so far about its progress. That said, come let's dive into the video. Rocket chasers are setting up cameras at the entrance of Elon Musk's starbase in the pre-dawn light on a road that terminates at Boca Chica Beach in South Texas. This is the manufacturing facility for Starship, SpaceX's next generation of orbital spacecraft. A roughly 70 meter high super heavy rocket will be brought out of the SpaceX launch pad two kilometers away in a few hours for its test campaign to begin. I don't believe people realize Mary Lee's bender of the Cosmic Perspective YouTube channel adds that this is the greatest, most powerful rocket that has ever been in human history. It's even bigger than the Saturn V, it's more powerful, and we constantly want to present the astonishment. Mary Liz and her partner Ryan Chelinsky are members of a new generation of space communicators who have come to this section of Texas to track the Starship's progress to Mars. Elon Musk, the billionaire founder and CEO of SpaceX, seemed to like the spotlight. This is the first very significant rocket development that has been so near the public road that people are literally driving to the beach right past the site, Mr. Musk said earlier this year to Tim Dodd, a YouTuber known as the Everyday Astronaut. Two massive metal spacecraft towers above Starship silhouetted against the changing sky. These are prototypes of the Starship that Musk plans to launch to the moon in 2024 and ultimately to Mars. They are rough hewn like spaceships from a sci-fi movie. Starship, the combined spaceship and super heavy rocket, will be able to take 100 people and 100 tons of cargo into orbit, according to SpaceX. The space shuttle's greatest payload was 25 tons and the Starship is supposed to be totally reusable, unlike anything NASA has ever created. In the past couple of years, it has seen among all the potential outposts. Mars has become a subject of interest in this commercial space industry. It is just as astronaut Buzz Aldrin said, Mars is there, waiting to be reached. The red planet always amused us in its mysteries that are yet to be found. Some of them we already know, some of them we are still in progress, but it does not satisfy our knowledge because we want to know everything. Actually, Mars is like an open book, which we have to explore. But why Mars? Why are we not going to other planets first? Well, there are more than one reason, and all are theoretically proven. First, to look for signs of life. There are many rumors of having bacterial life or something more on Mars. Debates are still going on regarding that. If you're going to enable life on the Martian planet, are you sure that there's no life there already? If there is, how do we navigate that? Robin Wordsworth, lead author of the study in Nature Astronomy, said at a release, the moment we decide to commit to having humans on Mars, these questions are inevitable. Two rovers, Perseverance and Curiosity, are currently exploring Mars to solve the mystery. However, robots are not always the best option to find a solution. Bill Nye, CEO of Planetary Society said, humans should go to Mars as they can make discoveries 10,000 times faster than the best space crafts we have today. If we find the signs of life on Mars, it will be a game changer for us because after that we can finally answer the question, are we alone in the universe? Second, expanding as a species. Humans like challenges. They like to go beyond the horizon and explore. Therefore, a simple reason behind choosing Mars is that we are curious about that and we want to explore beyond the Earth. Also, we are living on only one planet and that is our home, Earth. There is a possibility that one day Earth could face extinction. So in order to ensure the survival of our species, we need to search for other planets. Mars is the best possible option we have right now. A day on Mars, also referred to as Sol, is only 40 minutes longer than a day on Earth. Unlike Venus and Mercury, Mars is not too hot and it also has water ice on its surface. Third, its potential values. From a geological perspective, Mars is exciting. It offers large canyons, volcanoes and craters. According to scientists, Mars is billions of years older than our Earth. They are currently studying Mars's atmosphere to make it a habitat for us. According to Aldrin, exploring and colonizing Mars can bring us new scientific understanding of climate change and how planet-wide processes can warm and wet a world into a barren landscape. By exploring and understanding Mars, we may gain key insights into the past and future of our world. 
There are also other reasons that indicate Mars could be our second home. Colonizing Mars would be very difficult, but not impossible. Various private spacecraft companies are developing spacecraft to be launched onto Mars. Among them, SpaceX is likely moving ahead with its Starship program. It is one of Musk's most ambitious projects to colonize Mars. As per that, SpaceX has already announced before that SpaceX would send its Starship by 2025. However, before landing astronauts on the Red Planet, scientists have to make sure that there are plenty of life support systems already launched onto Mars. Life support systems such as oxygen, water, backup fuel, solar panels, dry foods, medical supplies and scientific equipment are essential. We can assume that a batch of uncrewed starships will carry those life support systems to Earth. If one starship could carry 150 tons of cargo, then four to five starships would do the job well. Solar panels will be deployed by the help of rovers. A group of multi-use robots will prepare a landing pad on Mars. After that, the first group of astronauts will land on Mars, which will officially begin the mission to make life multiplanetary. It will not be a short visit, as the astronauts will have to stay there for a while to begin the first phase of colonization. The first few years on Mars will be very harsh. According to scientists, the average temperature on Mars is minus 63 degrees Celsius or minus 82 degrees Fahrenheit. We will need to adapt to that environment. Soon, the preparation will begin to create multiple small bases on Mars. Within a year or two, astronauts will begin terraforming Mars. There are multiple theories regarding the terraformation. Back in 1971, Carl Sagan first introduced terraforming Mars by vaporizing the planet's northern polar ice caps. According to Sagan, a greenhouse effect could be created by released water vapor and CO2. It would raise the temperature enough to make sure there is liquid water on the surface of Mars. But according to a recent study, even if we use all the available CO2, then it would produce only an atmosphere with about 7% of the pressure of Earth's atmosphere. So instead of terraforming the whole planet at once, we could work on smaller sections of Mars. Researchers at Harvard and NASA are currently throwing some light on this matter. Harvard's Robin Wordsworth said, we wanted to think about something that's achievable in a decadal time scale, rather than something that would be centuries in the future, or perhaps never, depending on human capabilities. Some researchers found a possible solution from a phenomenon in the Martian polar ice caps. According to them, some sections of ice act as a solid state greenhouse, which traps the coming sunlight underneath. We started thinking about the solid state greenhouse effect and how it could be invoked for creating habitual environments on Mars and in the future. We started thinking about what kind of materials could minimize thermal conductivity but still transmit as much light as possible. Wordsworth stated at a release, At this point, some researchers came with the idea of using silica aerogel. It is a synthetic porous ultralight material which allows the light through but slows the conduction of heat. Whether you place the layer on or above the surface does not have a huge influence on the basic physics of the effect. In this way, the terraformation will slowly take place on Mars. According to Musk, if we make life multiplanetary, there may come a day when some plants and animals die out on Earth but are still alive on Mars. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more. See you in the next one.